This is a construction update for the week of October 7th, provided by the City of Somerville and read by Somerville Media Center. Improvement Projects, Beacon Street Reconstruction. Over the next several weeks, MassDOT contractors will mobilize as weather and crew availability permit to continue installing green surface treatment on bike facilities and remaining pavement markings. During the week of October 7th, when weather allows, they also plan to finish paving small remaining sections of roadway on Sacramento Street, Forest Street, and Roseland Street at Beacon Street. Please expect variable parking restrictions and bike lane closures. Beacon Street remains an active construction site and cyclists are advised to continue using the bike detour until the project is complete. Green Line Extension Similar to last week, construction activity is expected daily and overnight throughout the weekend of October 4th within the rail corridor at various work zones between Gilman Square in Somerville and College Ave in Medford. GLX crews will advance work on foundations, walls, and utility relocation while commuter rail service is suspended. Work near Ball Square and north of College Ave will involve breaking up rock and cutting track sections to install drainage lines, which may be disruptive. Contractors will make effort to minimize noise and, where possible, direct lighting away from residential buildings. Please note that a construction train used for excavation and hauling of materials will be active during overnight and weekend work. This heavy piece of equipment, which is regulated by the Federal Railroad Administration, is required to use its horn for safety purposes wherever it starts and stops. More detailed information about upcoming and ongoing work throughout the GLX alignment can be found in the bi-weekly construction updates from MassDOT. Frequent overnight and weekend work is expected to continue through the end of the year. If you need assistance for a GLX construction-related matter, please call the 24-7 GLX hotline at 1-855-GLX-INFO or email info at glxinfo.com. Sacramento Street Underpass Rehabilitation As noted last week, concrete placement has been completed and custom railings have been ordered. When the order has been fulfilled, the railings will be installed and the underpass will be reopened. Somerville Ave Utility and Streetscape Improvements Although subject to change, during the week of October 7th, two-way traffic is expected to be maintained on Somerville Ave between Webster Ave and Prospect Street, with the daytime detour continuing for eastbound traffic between Prospect Street and Medford Street. Additional Eversource cable relocation work may take place near Stone Ave. Contractors plan to remove duck banks and install catch basins between Stone Ave and Prospect Street. Between Prospect Street and Miriam Street, they plan to backfill around the recently installed drainage infrastructure and work toward restoring the roadway. Crews also expect to tie in a new water main at Somerville Ave, Medford Street, which may temporarily interrupt water service for some residents. Sign up to receive city alerts to ensure that you're notified in advance. Somerville High School Building Project. The Central Hill Playgrounds are expected to close on or around Friday, October 11th to advance construction on the Eastern Wing. A renovated, relocated version of the playgrounds, which will be established in front of the Central Library as part of the Central Hill Campus Plan, is tentatively scheduled to open in the fall of 2021. At the Western Wing, contractors continue framing exterior walls and installing sheathing on the building's facade and at the Eastern Wing, crews continue to excavate and form in place concrete for foundation walls. Isolated demolition continues on the school's former library with steelwork expected to start there in the next few weeks. Washington Street Water Main Upgrades Early during the week of October 7th, crews plan to work on Washington Street at Calvin Street, requiring lane shifts. Midweek, crews expect to move to the southwestern corner of Washington Street Beacon Street intersection, the Bergamont Kebab Factory corner. Though traffic is expected to be maintained, pedestrians should note the posted signage. Pavement and Sidewalk Management Program Sidewalk Reconstruction Sidewalk reconstruction will be occurring at Medford Street from Partridge Ave to School Street. Citywide Manhole Rehabilitation National Water Main, the city's contractor, is rehabilitating manholes throughout Somerville through the spring of 2020. Lane closures, lane shifts, and parking restrictions may be implemented as needed. During the week of October 7th, we expect crews to be on the following streets. 
Broadway from Alewife Brook Parkway to Russell Road, Cameron Ave, Clarendon Ave, Elmwood Street, Farragut Ave, Glendale Ave, Malvern Ave, Moore Street, and Victoria Street. Additional utility work. Utility companies are responsible for notifying residents prior to conducting any work, but we expect parking restrictions and lane shifts due to the following utility work. Detail officers may close a road if deemed necessary for safety. Eversource Gas will be working on Berkeley Street, Brasto Ave, Carlton Street, Lake Street, Olive Square, Hawkins Street, Dearborn Road, Highland Road, Pearson Road, and Prescott Street, and National Grid will be working on Stickney Ave and Washington Street from Crescent Street to Franklin Street. This has been a construction update for the week of October 7th provided by the City of Somerville and read to you by Somerville Media Center.